How much do Little Caesars franchise owners make? Everybody loves pizza. Better than that, everybody loves cheap pizza. And that's what Little Caesars provides. And if you own a Little Caesars franchise, how much money can you make? How much does it cost? What is the profit? Let's go through this to see if it's actually worth starting a little or buying into a Little Caesars franchise today. My name is Nate Jones. I make videos on entrepreneurship, how to start businesses, reviewing franchises, and entrepreneur content. So if you like that type of stuff, hit like and subscribe. Okay, let's get into this. How much does it cost to open a Little Caesars franchise? Well, from research, the number is a pretty wide number. It, it, it stems from 350000 to $1.7 million. That's probably because it depends on your location. If you have to build out a location, if it's a freestanding location that, the, that you're building out yourself, depending on where you're at, it can be very not too expensive to 1.7, which is pretty high for a franchise cost in my opinion. So I'm going to use an average number today of a million dollars. These costs include building out the marketing costs, buying um, stock, building out the pizza machines, the dough machine, all that stuff. It all adds up to starting a franchise. So um, you don't have to have the million in cash. You can finance this. So financing a million dollar uh, startup cost would be about, you'd have to put about 20% down, which is 200 grand. Getting a loan for 800 grand is 10,500 a month as a monthly loan charge, a monthly payment. I don't like that. That's a pretty high monthly uh, loan. I would want to start this franchise at a lower level because I think that's pretty risky. Um, I always want to have a loan in which I think I can pay off if something goes south. That's at a 10% interest rate. If rates come down, that number will come down. Um, that's a 10-year note as well. Um, Little Caesars has some interesting fees for franchises. They have a 6% royalty fee on gross sales and a 7% marketing fee on gross sales. Now, I could see the marketing fee if that's really bringing in people into the door. Uh, the royalty fee, that's about standard where it's at. But um, yeah, there's two pretty hefty fees there that are going to add into your profitability. But really, your startup cost in this scenario is about 200 grand. So you would need some decently large deployable cash to be able to start this franchise. Um, how much can we actually make owning this franchise? That's why you clicked on the video, right? Okay, so the average gross sales per franchise is around a million dollars. It can be more, it can be less, depending on the area. That's $83,333 a month, $20,833 a week, and $2,976 a day. Okay, so you're gonna have to have a lot of people coming through because the pizzas are only, I think, about six dollars right now. So, um, but yeah, you're having a lot of people coming through. It's 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 more volume based than it is um, per unit based. But the average profit margin is a little bit higher than some of the other franchises I've reviewed. So average profit margin is 17%. So that puts you at a profit of 170,000 a year. That includes your all your um, your royalty fee, your marketing fee, the variable expenses, the fixed expenses, your loan payment, and everything. So your your cash flowing as the owner about 14,166 a month, 3,541 a week. So. I'm going to get into the positive and negatives of this business, but with every franchise that I've reviewed, I've came to the same conclusion. It does not, you're not going to get financial freedom by owning one franchise. The same thing with this franchise. Um, the profit margin is around 170 a year. Um, you know, it, it spans between 150 to 200,000 a year that you're making, and that's great money, right? It, it may be more money than you're making now, and you may have that money saved up. Then, yeah, it might make sense for you to start this franchise. But to really become financially free to make 500 or to a million dollars a year, you're going to have to own multiple franchises. So, my advice for you would be to have a plan of action when you start this franchise to say, How can I get to my next store? How can I get to that next level? So so I can in continue to increase my income because you could probably only squeeze so much out of one store. Eventually, you need to get to the next level. So here are some positives of this business. It's profitable at a 17% profit margin. That's pretty good. I know that's an average. It could be less, could be more, but that's a pretty profitable business. Um, it's very scalable. Like I said before, buying another franchise is very easily. It's all set up for you. Um, it's essentially as just putting more capital into it and potentially getting another loan, but everything's set up for you, so that's really easy to scale this business. Number three, and this business is also sellable. So you can also, I've seen Little Caesars for sale. If the business is very profitable, it can be sold um, to somebody else because there's profit there. Um, the third thing is you get marketing help. That marketing fee, 
Um, they are probably going to tell you some statistics about how it drives traffic in, but that marketing fee, the marketing help that you get from owning a franchise is not like you doing it yourself. As a person who started a business from scratch, I know how hard it is to <laughs> do that. So having marketing help from people who have expertise in that, doing commercials, showing up everywhere is really nice. Some negatives of this business is that they're, you're going to have to have employees that you count on. Um, this business is going to die or live by the employees that you have. And since the business is cheaper pizza, you're not going to be able to pay people as competitive as other places. So finding good employees is going to be a massive headache for you. But I've heard that it is getting better in the labor market. So this may not be that big of a headache, but it is always going to be headaches when you have employees. Now, the second thing is this business is not 100% absentee. Now, if you own multiple franchises, you could have kind of a general manager to kind of help out. But in the most part, you're going to have to be in the day-to-day -day operations of almost every store until you get to a fleet of Little Caesars. So um, you're going to have to be in the business every single day. So if you have a good paying job now, you're going to have to basically quit that job, start this business, and hopefully um, get that profit margin to 170000 a year. So um, definitely this will be a full-time job for you, and um, you need multiple franchises to c continue to increase your income. The third thing is you do not have control over the brand and marketing of the company. As being a franchise owner, you have a parameter of what you can actually do marketing-wise and what you can actually do brand-wise. They want to protect the brand just like you don't have control over what management does for commercials or what management does as far as their uh, reputation in the community. So making sure that you're paired with the correct franchise is super important. Making sure that their reputation is good. Making sure that they're not going to tarnish the name so your sales go way down because you're at the liberty of their brand. Right, and and they're making sure that you're not destroying their brand either. Um, also, you have a limitation on creativity. You can only do so much within the parameters of the franchise. So you're not going to be able to do too creative. You know, you're going to have to create the product in which they want, which is the pizza that they want, the the consistency that they want it. So you're not going to be able to be too creative on that. But that being said, there they have systems in place to help you be successful, and they can show you how other people have used those systems to be successful. So that's not too much of a negative, but it is a negative about owning a franchise period is that you don't have too much control. So um, my suggestion for you, this is kind of my opinions on this franchise. I would suggest that you reach out to Little Caesars directly for any um, really hardcore questions about this, confirming numbers, confirming startup costs, all this stuff. I'm sure there's some things that I missed, but um, my thing for you is, you know, being a business owner has been the best decision I've ever made, made more money, had more creativity, and had more control over my life. And franchises can help you do that, but I would reach out to Little Caesars directly. And if you liked today's video, hit like and subscribe. Thanks.